Hi, welcome back. This is the PSLE Math 2025, Math Made Easy, and this is the equilateral triangle question in the PSLE. All right, now this question is based, uh, the information of this question is based on student recall, so it may not be exact or even totally correct. So if there's anything that's wrong, do let me know and uh, we can work on that. But for now, based on this information, let's answer the question. So the keywords in this question is the word equilateral triangle. So what is an equilateral triangle? An equilateral triangle, as the word equi here says, the word equi means equal. So equilateral means equal sided triangles. That means that this side is equal to this, is equal to this, is equal to this, and all the sides are equal. Okay. Now, um, in order not to, you know, dirty the diagram, I'm just going to remove this, understand that the sides are equal. And the question is asking for the length of AB. Okay. Now the length of AB is this, and this is actually the same as finding this, or the same as finding this, or the same as finding this. Okay. These are all equal. So where do we begin? Well, the first thing we want to understand is that for diagrams, the movement of two equilateral triangles, perhaps I can illustrate this. Okay, maybe I just copy these two triangles. This one. Okay. Okay, so imagine these two equilater equilateral triangles, right? And if they are identical, then it means that I can overlap them directly. So right now, I should be able to overlap this directly. Now, if they are the same and I shift them a little bit, okay, let's say this much, then the distance that I shifted this triangle to the right, which is this amount, is equivalent to this part because the shift is the same on both sides, right? When you shift one side, the other side shifts by the same amount. So keeping this in mind, okay, this shifting concept, if we go back to our original diagram, then we know that um, if this is 18, okay, and maybe I will highlight this with a different color for you to understand. If this is 18, then so is this. Okay, this red color portion would also be 18. They are the same. Because effectively, I'm taking this triangle, which started over here, and I shifted it so that it came over here. So the amount that I shifted here is the same as the amount that's here, based on how I've explained it to you just now. So if this is 18, then this would be how much? The answer is 15, right? Because if this is 18, then this has to be 15. Okay, so far, are you able to follow? Okay, so if at any point, right, you're not able to follow, you can always pause this recording and then uh, watch this part again. So if this is uh, if this is 15, right, this portion, and this is 41, if I now take 41, okay, let me shade that with a different color again, just to be very clear. Okay, let's say I shade it using this. Okay, so this portion would be 15. Okay, maybe a thinner line. Okay, this portion is 15 and this long line below is 41. So if I took the 41 and I subtracted the 15, I should be able to get the distance from here to the end. Okay, I'm gonna just take this and move this up. Okay, I'm gonna be able to find this part. And if you look carefully, this happens to be the side of one triangle, okay? This is exactly from one side of the triangle to the other side, this is one line. So if I take 41 minus 15, okay? If I take 41 minus 15, I'll be getting this, and the answer for that is 26. Therefore, the answer to this question 
is 26. Why is that? Well, if this is 26 and these are all equilateral triangles, then this should also be the same length. And since the question is, what is the length of AB? Then I've already answered the question and the answer is 26. With that, I will see you at my other videos. If you want to watch all the past exam question videos, you can also subscribe to my channel and they will all be there. I'll see you. Bye-bye.